Welcome back to Endless Rain. So that's, yeah, that's where it being, right? Yes, I climbed up across... Across there. Up on there, in the window. That's where I get the cloister key. And that is very clearly, that's north, that's very clearly Montego's place. Why is there a cloister key? In this place, I don't understand that. Well, let's try this stupid stunt here. Let's try jumping across to this roof. Oh wow, we can actually, we can actually climb the roof. I thought it'd be a slidey roof, so we'd be, have to try very hard to make it up here. But no, we can climb this. It seems a little, a little off. Extremely steep. It's rainy. It should be slippery as hell. But we got a gas out. I've got trouble. So, I mean, it is slippery. We would do go down with fairly quickly. But it's certainly not impossible. Oh, we're above the market. Okay, where does this take us? that noise. I know. <laughs> Sounded like a great opening. Okay, so the market. The market was west. Is this the clock tower the way? Feel like a clock tower. What other place would it be? You know what? I'm going to just get my bearings here. It is a clock tower. Well, it's adjacent to clock tower. Feels like some rich person's place. <sighs> and this is the bathroom. You know where no one's gonna look for you, mate? No one's gonna look for you. Ah, oh, and the rain out there. Oops. See you in the ocean and close the grave. there. Yeah, actually, that's going to get you thoroughly drenched. Hopefully you don't get too much pneumonia. Just a little bit. Oh, these are noisy floors. It's not a door. that web from here. Take that. And that. A1533. 270 Tacos. 400 Brimley. 320 Grey. 432 Isn't Grin. Once it goes, 1750, wow, this is, that's, once it goes, these, right? More from once it goes. I cannot afford to lose any more money. The amount I must refund is astonishing. Once it goes tall, is way too harsh. So it was a bad idea going to the Overlord's Fancy with finances so low. I should consider selling some of my trinkets or something. Otherwise, I'm a dead man. Oh, 
it's just the stairway. There is a ledge down there, right? There is a ledge down there that I haven't been on. It's a little... I wonder where it goes. But it's not a very good place to go right now. Let's try not to... Uh, fall on this very narrow balcony. How am I going to make this jump? This is awkward. How am I going to make this jump? The answer is I'm probably not going to make it. Well, sometimes I surprise even myself. Hmm. Ooh. Okay, even now, where do I go? Well, there's that ledge, I suppose. That is the ledge I'll see. Yeah, that's probably the best best place to go now. Ugh. Ow. I don't know, what is there? Oh well. <laughs> don't know what it was. What, two? Okay. Let's say, do I only get two hit points from my healing potion? No. I thought they were supposed to give me four. Oh, it does eventually seem to have given me four. It didn't seem high enough to hurt, but I guess it was. My judgement must be off. I haven't done enough rooftop climbing for a while, I suppose. Yeah, you thought wrong, mate. Was that about judgement being off? Someone there? Oh well. Don't know what it was. Insurance. Alright. Uh, I have no idea where I am or I'm going, but I see a way across the street here. One of these enormous chains that don't seem to have any purpose except letting thieves go across. Cause that's not the sort of thing you'd want to do, because that's the sort of thing that would actually demolish your building and pull the walls out. Also trying to resist an outward force, you don't want to add to it. Statues. 
Another flash from three months. I've been employed here for three months. It's the only time these tapping gears there on the wall have stopped. The noise they made was so painful I couldn't make it disappear from my head. And now that it's stopped, it's even worse. I hope that nutbag of a mechanician will come to repair them soon. I still prefer to hear the real noise and the phantom sound ringing in my head. These gears, huh? Oh, hello. Purple ladder. <laughs> that was close. Bail mantle which turned into a unveil mantle. Thankfully. Just me. Don't mind me. Just picking locks, sticking loot, you know. Steps I'm hearing. I don't know. I mean, I could avoid this guy easily enough, but. Group of professional will just make sure they're prepared for what happens, right? Best way to be prepared for, for attacks from enemies is to make sure the enemies aren't there to attack you. Alright, so if, if I had some ropes, I could get up there. Which would then let me get... I don't know where. <laughs> so where am I now? Oh, I must be over here. Where this pipe lid is. <laughs> Apart from, from water. Full weeping gargoyles. Direction of the sound is all wrong. I don't know. He's gonna come out here very soon, and then he's gonna get a nice surprise. <clears throat> so this is Felton Manor, okay, this is actually a named place. Doors. This one does not look locked. Quite a different game. 
Attention guards, the lady is in a state of dismay following the death of our most esteemed lord. She is not to be disturbed, and I've decided to increase the rounds just in case. No slacking off, especially with all these thefts lately. Keep sharp, Captain Gallagher. Yeah, it's a lot of thefts. must be played is another rule that I don't think I've actually stated out loud, but all hearts must be played. Not a valuable sword, but valuable candlestick. Before I go down there, let's check the other room in this house. Press the wrong button, they almost clap on the door. Hey! Come out at once! Shit! Suddenly a whole lot brighter just just here. Dark there, bright there. And I didn't have any indication that that was going to be the case, so. Fair enough. Now <laughs> oh, when there's nothing in here except He won't need that anymore. Love Hilton's Ruby, I guess. That is one of our objectives. Now I need rope arrows. So if I can get up there any other way. Dang. Well, I have no idea where to get rope arrows, and I've been around, I've been in the sewers, I didn't find any of oh, there's supposed to be equipment there. Uh, I mean, there's this ladder down, which might go to the sewers, we'll find out. Try and come back here if I find any ropes, but uh is there a ladder here? There it is. It's not the first place where I've needed ropes and not had them. Where are we now? This is not sewers. For like fellas, so. though. Oh, okay. That's the hammer, hammer right place right there. Hammer Friary, cloister lane. Okay, the cloister key, I guess, is here. Why was the cloister? It must be here. Why was the cloister key up here? Right. Hello. 
but it fell down the drain. My most esteemed lady, thanks for bargaining with your humble servant. As you are aware, I am certain the contents of the bottle are dangerous and should not fall into careless hands. Remember, one drop will plunge a man into a deep sleep. Three drops will make a man sick for a week. Ten drops will slay a man outright. It is not my custom to ask what purpose my concoction will serve, so you can rest assured of my utmost discretion on the matter. I remain at your disposal should you have any questions, or if you want to purchase something from my fine establishment again. Ralph Downer, Apothecary, Stone Market. Letter that fell down the drain. This is important for something, right? I mean... It's not in the drain. You know, I didn't find it in the drain. Someone else had found it. It means something. Okay. Do I push forward from here? I vaguely remember a different path I could have gone. Yeah, because we're across, across this street, right? And I could have kept going around here. I can easily get down the street level. Let's go back up. Go all the way back up. And across. Getting to altitude is where I have difficulty. This way. There's no further way from here, right? Yeah. So we can make it back across here without dying. Nice, nicely spaced. Gargoyles there. But here's another place I need ropes, right? Um, where even? How are we relative to the prior and stuff? <laughs> this is just immediately west of Belt Manor, I suppose. Let's just put big R's on the way we need ropes. Surely there's a reason to go up there. Yeah, there's, a, there's an open window there. I don't know how I actually got here in the first place, but uh, maybe I still have my memory. <laughs> Definitely more places to fight as well. I came across this chain. Did I? Yes. I think. Did I come this way? I got weak guy. Doing up here. Oh, hello. I am sort of doing up here. <laughs> See, this guy is arrows and his moss. Don't you dare say you don't see this damn leaks in Junction 18. Yes, you dimwit tapper. That's the one that goes right under the canal crossing Usher Street. And the one I've been telling you have been needing repairs for months now. There's knee high water in there. I had to lock the machine room so the machines wouldn't get damaged. If you don't move your lazy quill pusher bum to get it repaired as soon as possible, you'll get the whole stone market public works division flooded in no time. Junction 18, right under the canal crossing Usher Street. Right, right under here, so leaks. That's not a door, but this is a door. Well, hmm, if I was particularly bloody minded, I could take these crates back to where I was talking about needing ropes and do some crate stacking, but that would take a very long time. And would not be particularly exciting to watch. Or unit high space, that's hard to get into. 
Also, there's lots of space to back up and try and, you know, get your feet into a different position and try again there. Which is not the case here. Oh, well, this has an angle to make it more feasible. One of those things that Garrett's character's awkwardly sized. Really? There's gotta be something out there. Also, clearly, Garrett's too fat to his window, so maybe not. And there's a ledge, but that's just the power collector. Uh, right. Where's the ladder here? I can't even see it. On the near side. beams up here. You know what? These beams I can check. I can stack crates to check the, if there's anything on these beams. Maybe. Maybe, he says. Let's try and get a little more further across. So that when I jump, I'm not being thrown off. Anyone trying to hide any valuables up here? It looks like the answer's no. Right. Yeah, this chain is where I came across. See the gargoyles that I stopped first. I'm nearly invisible. Oh, it's a pipe, not a gargoyle. Way! Ah! <laughs> I hear you there! Yeah, well... I don't know what I hit there. How did I... How did that jump fail? Oh, this wall leans out, I see. Alright. No reason to come here. There's a window I haven't been in, right? Oh, no, this one I just, came, just went in. It looks like another area up there that is maybe reachable, I don't know. I'm constantly on edge because there's a little sound in amongst all this rain noise. That uh, sounds like a spider hiss, so I'm just like constantly thinking I've heard a spider in nearby somewhere. And it's not, um, but it constantly gets me my nerves, tweaking my nerves. It's, well, it's unnerving, I might say. Okay, so this is where I needed to continue. And this seems to be where the Hammerite... That's the Hammerite who... Oh, absolutely. Yes. And the Foundation is weak. Wailing and gnashing your teeth is the best fix for it. Like, everybody knows that. Mr. Cribs, it is with great pleasure that I write this letter and I hope you will receive it in due time. I have finally acquired the old quarter opera house from this nuisance and picked him out with my newly acquired guard. Captain Colliard knows how to do his work. But I digress. I am writing this message with the intent of offering you my previous position. Yes, I want you to become the new director of music for the opera. I am absolutely sure that your music will mesmerise our guests of exceptional status and your presence within the opera will be a constant delight. Together we shall change the face of music. Lady Valerius.
guess this is Mr. Cribs' crib. Yeah. Neither of those open? Oh, well, that's a... I complain about these in every mission that does them. It's just like, they throw in a ladder that does nothing with these hatch doors. Sometimes you might make them open, but these ones don't. Here we've got one above and below. Am I really supposed to believe that this is how he accesses his house? My ladder? Oh, hello. Wait, have I been here before? This feels very familiar. Um, I have been here before. That's that balcony I tried to get to. Yes, I have been here before. All right, I need a new plan. Well, you know what? I can try making that balcony from here, right? Probably won't make it. I fail. I land in here and explore this other pipe that I had not explored. So, the balcony was in, within reach, but the mantle failed, so... More sewers. I did not come this way last time. Maybe we'll finally find those ropes. Clang! <laughs> Statues and sewers? Ah... This is the leak that we were spoken of. We just read about. We're under the canal now. Important. Let's check the path upwards first. Feels like it probably goes to the street. It does indeed. What part of the street are we on? I don't know. There's a big tower there, but I don't recognize it. Market stall. Okay, this is where this... We're right here. Okay. That's the works. Might become relevant. Another healing potion, thank you. That is much appreciated. Okay, we've got another way forward there. What about here? Mmm, tasty bread. Shane. Have you ever wondered what lies behind that huge portcullis? I've searched around for a lock, but haven't found anything. I've tried to force it open with one of them fancy steam cranks the mechanicians from downtown Tinker. But no dice. The thing's shut tight and it's tough and heavy. These sewers are so old that area isn't even in the official records. The place is still lit though, so it must be on the same power grid as the Stone Market Public Works Division. There's probably some tomb or another behind that gate. I bet your month's pay there's bound to be something valuable down there. Jason. Footsteps. Okay, they're not from there. Hmm. Oh, hello. Well, mate, you didn't search very hard, did you? Those footsteps are coming from here. 
No, they're not. No, they're not. Ye who seek entry, you must cleanse my heart first. That's a door. This must be where the thieves have to hide out the gang. Cleanse your heart, huh? Hmm. Nope. Did not. Can we do anything? Weird. I mean, it'd be strange. Uh, I'm gonna reload this. Too much of a waste. One of them is fine, but. What do you mean, cleanse your heart? I mean, I could use holy water, but that seems problematic. I mean, I could bang on the door and try and get people's attention. Well, maybe that's not a door. It certainly sounds like this. Maybe that's the door. I don't know. What does it mean, cleanse your heart? You don't have a heart. You've got a boob. Doesn't say those who must seek entry must wash my boob first with water. That would be more obvious than that. Uh... Hmm. I am kind of at a loss. Well, we've got this place marked on the map. Workstation, so I can come back here, I suppose. Is there anything else? Oh, I mean, this is pipe. Definitely more sewers. Oh, we got a ladder. Another pipe. Does this one go anywhere? It certainly does. the thieves and I'm here so I cleanse my heart thing was not their access point ropes two rip arrows where do you look at that and a lot of water arrows I've not actually been using any and maybe I should be but it's always been like I've kind of been saving them for uh Okay, that's just jammed. Saving them for the main place I'm trying to get to, right? Once it goes. Did you hear the news? After he fell to his death and finally got caught, Dolpho decided to leave the boss and he's thinking of becoming independent. He told me he's going to the bone hall to steal some gemstone or another. And he's been thinking of doing it for a long time. He even asked me to go with him, but I said no way. He's completely insane. Nobody ever came back alive from that godforsaken place. And if Webster learns that, his wrath will be terrible. Better continue to plunder Stone Market good if we want to avoid his anger. But without Adolfo's talents, this will be hard. Roger. Alright. We finally have our reverence. We have another way out of this sewer system. Where? Eight twelve thirty three. Received a gold vase from Jock. 
He told me he got up in Newmarket when they intercepted cargo destined to the Tyrol estate or something. That was pretty nice, and it looks good on my new fancy desk. What a pain dragging it down the staircase, but it was worth it, that's for sure. Old Nate has a fancy desk now. Simon sent me a letter full of anger today. I sent him the items I got from the guys down in the stinkers as usual, but he sent them back in a package and told me not to deliver stuff to his cash anymore because the hammerites are giving him trouble. Who does he think he is? Now I am risking my neck with that gold vase and the other stuff the boys got me previously. The hammerites decided to come to my shop. Looking for the people helping these bastards operating without a turf, and I was terrified the whole time. They asked me questions with such a tone that I couldn't resist wetting my pants in fear. I finally left after a while. I'm ashamed to admit it, but the thought of rotting in Cryax Cleft is enough to send shivers down my spine. Fortunately for me, they didn't visit the basement, otherwise I couldn't write this. Okay, so this is who's been running the, uh... Thieves gang, huh? <laughs> You coming down into the basement here? Hey. Nate's grocery. Oh, hello, he threw out a letter too. Oh, and he plays his bars. The pipes. No, I told you again that until these outsiders are dealt with and the hammers stop prowling to the streets, no one is to deliver stuff to my cash. It's already hard enough with the hammers, but now they're ready to smite more people and send them directly to Grav's Cleft. If we get caught, there's no way we'll get refunds for the protection fee. We'll end up on the gallows like that taffer who got caught the other day, and you'll be damned if you don't get hanged. Simon. Well, Nate. Groceries. It's very bright up here. You know what? You are better off. Well, somewhere out of the way, anyway. Groceries. Hmm. Tasty. So this one I probably can't pick the lock, right? Yeah. That's why I've got the key. Oh, this is right by the start. So that also gives me access to the suits. I'm just right under Usher Palace here. Okay. So now I've got some rope arrows. I kind of want to head back east. direction where it didn't go the first at the start. Platforms. Oh, broadheads. Oh, is this more rope and arrows? Okay, this is where I should come at the start, but I had no idea that this was the place to be. It was right near the right near the beginning there, so it would be feasible to come here right away. Oh, there's not a door. Looks like a door, but it's not a door. So, I could have had my ropes a long time ago. Fair enough. It's kind of funny, after all the time spent wandering around without them, now I've got two at once. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to use two, uh, maybe even three. That's alright. We said push darkness, so if someone was up here, I'd be uh, able to see. 
Oh, this is a cloister. Right, that's the way in. If I go in there, I can't get back out here, I don't think. Let's see. I'm a priory, yeah. I mean, if I am in that water, how do I get back? How do I get back? I don't know. Well, I mean, I'll leave the hemorrhage for later. Let's... Yes. Make sure you're well armored against those blandishments. Terrible blandishments. Alrighty. Here we are, back in Felton's place. It's up here I wanted the ropes, wasn't it? So there's some across that way, there's also some in here. Right, let's see what's what's up on these beams. <laughs> that we might be able to profit from. Nothing there. Okay. I didn't see that very well. Well, yeah. Question answered. That was less trouble than uh, I had feared. Also, less valuable than I had hoped, but you know, you can't have everything. Okay, now this one should get me somewhere. Another wooden beam. Where is that? Where are those footsteps I'm hearing coming from? I don't know. Have I been up here? Doesn't feel to me like I have. That's a good arrow for getting down, but not, not a useful one for getting back up. So let's bring it back with us. Any of these open? They do not. Alright, we can get across there. Okay, that's one potential direction. The other way is, I could jump across that ledge from here, but then I can't get back up here. Although... I suppose getting back up here is actually pretty easy from the street level, right? So just have to go back to what's his name's place. Let's see where this brings us. Hello, there's an open window. That must be where I'm hearing the footsteps from. Yeah, that's definitely where I'm hearing these footsteps from. <coughs> There's somebody right there. 
Hmm. Fat guy. Hmm, thought I saw something. What a silly idea. Hmm, I guess it was nothing. It's always nothing, it's never anything you're saying. How does the girl come in here? And the guard is out there, right? No, he doesn't. <coughs> You can sleep. Don't fall in the fire, please, sir. Don't want you to burn to death. I mean... I mean, I'm not honestly that bothered, but... Don't want you to burn to death while I would be held responsible for it. City Tribune. Lord Pelton found dead. The Honourable Lord Pelton, owner of the eponymous manor in Stone Market, was found dead in his chambers yesterday by his wife. Lieutenant Tomadley was dispatched to solve the case and told the Tribune Lord Pelton had no known enemies and was loved by the people of Stone Market. So murder is not our main theory. It looks like he died in his sleep of natural causes. One woman working for the Felton family told the Tribune that she suspects a pagan conspiracy. Sick. Pagan assassins? Poisoning? Or old age? More on page six. I think it was Lady Felton, you know? Given that note that we found. Vince Sebastian Dahlquist arrested. Dahlquist, a known Vince of despicable reputation, was arrested on Thursday evening by the Order of the Hammer and was transferred to Crags Left Prison. Dalquist is known for hiring assassins to serve as thieves and for employing street urchins to spy on the common folk and steal from market stalls. High Priest Laurentius told the Tribune, This miscreant shall now look upon the Master Builder and implore his mercy, though thief spawns and murderers shall not escape his judgment, and in his infinite wisdom the Builder shall cast this sinner to the earth. More on page 9. Where's our guard friend? <coughs> guard friend is sleeping happily. This is the chains that I saw before. So we've just come around in a circle. <laughs> so that whole question of whether I would be able to get back or not. Right, because we came in from there. Alright, what's this garden? Quite a nice place, honestly. Soothing. Hello? Not the cloister. Alright, where are we? Can I get some berries? To mark this on the map. Not really. Let's look this way and see if we can get any idea from this side of where we are. No idea either, so that's south. I don't know, a rooftop garden. Needs key, that's what I'll know. So. Wooden beams here. Okay. Jump across there.
Oh, another thief, huh? I don't even know she's going to loot this variant from Taylor. Here's what I managed to swipe from the warehouse across the cloister lane. Don't tell anyone, but I suspect that old crow Damien of being aware of something. He always gives me weird looks when I do my rounds, and he always happens to be in the vicinity when I hide stuff. This is why I decided to drop the loot here rather than in our, in our usual hiding hole. This way he shan't have any proof of being stealing from the house. I can probably find a peddler or two ready to buy the stuff, but in the meantime, keep these two items secure. Gregory. P.S. Don't waste the money on fox tossing and ale like last time. Another rope arrow, alright. Who's with that? I have no idea who that was and where they were. Potion. Okay, so I will say this. This mission has been very generous with healing potions, even on expert. Is there a ladder here? Yes, there is. It's almost invisible. I do appreciate the generosity. If I go down here, I'm not getting back up. Been here before. Hmm. I don't know where I went from here. How oh. up there, I suppose. Yeah, I came out here and then. Then I forget where. Hmm. I can stick a rope in the side of the building, but I don't know why it worked. Right, and then there's the other open window here. <laughs> onto the ledge. Alright, let's let's retrace some steps because we may find possibilities now with with our new found newfangled ropes that were not available to us before. There's that layer. There's that. I still want to get there. I still don't know how. Mm. I'm gonna try the leap again. I don't think there's any... Oops, careful guy. I don't know if there's anywhere else I need to get to, is there? <laughs> this is where we got the cloister key from. So we could get into his place, I suppose. I haven't explored that area at all. I'm going to try that leap one more time. It doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it does work, I'll get somewhere new that I haven't been before. Perfect. Sure, I got a flash bomb ready. No, 
know, there's nothing in here. Wait, who am I hearing? That's more footsteps. There must be some... Odd. Maybe it's just frame brushing letting me hear through the wall? I don't know. seem to be anything else in here. <sighs> ah, there's the archer who runs up the street there. Okay. Well, I think it's a very good place to end the episode. Next time we'll try and get into Mr. Legatroid, whatever the place is we try and get to. It's just just along the water from here. But, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you then.